everyone, it's Leslie here from LM Fitness. I hope you're well. Um, I've received quite a few emails over the last week to 10 days from people who are uh, obviously stuck at home during this uh, coronavirus lockdown, asking me for ways in which they can sort of stretch and open through their back, give themselves a little bit more um, supportness through the, through the muscles, through the joints, but also try and prevent and alleviate back aches and back pain from being a lot more sedentary than usual. Now, this is obviously something that I would normally address uh, in a Pilates class or in a Pilates environment. Obviously, uh, not all of you can come to my Pilates classes online, but I thought I would do a quick video just to give you a few very, very simple exercises or movements that you can do whilst at home in order to keep your back moving, keep yourself nice and smooth, nice and, nice and soft through the lower uh, lumbar part of your spine so really it's all about just opening out through the actual muscles opening out through the joints of the hip girdle and obviously through the lower spine as well so it kind of incorporates a little bit of Pilates movement a little bit of kind of physio exercises and just general fluid movement fluid movement through all different planes of motion so to start off with, all you're going to have to do is just relax. So just stand with your feet, about hip width apart, both of your feet pointing in the same direction. So that's really crucial because we need the, the hips and the pelvis to be in a nice sort of straight natural line in order to actually open the joints out properly. So just ensure that your feet are in a nice straight line, pointing forwards. Now, just roll your shoulders to start with. So you're just going to inhale as you pull the shoulders up towards your ears, exhale as you drop them back. So you want to, you want to feel as though you're melting your shoulder blades down your spine, just really trying to pull through through the front of your um, through the front of your chest and also through the lower part of your lats. If you get any clicks or pops as you're rolling your shoulders, don't worry unless they're painful, in which case you may want to just reduce your movement a little bit, be a little bit more gentle with yourself. So then <clears throat> you want to um, open out through the shoulders. So to start off with, we're just gonna do a really, really gentle inhale breath to bring the arms up. Exhale, just rotate through the top of the body, taking the arm back, opening up behind you, coming back round. Again, bring it, drawing it round, other way, opening through the torso, bringing it back. So just a really, really gentle opening. Now, if you're struggling to take the shoulder back through that motion, you can bring the arms up in front and rotate, bringing it back and then round again. The main point here is to keep your hips forward. So don't open the whole body around. You want to just rotate through your, uh, through your torso, through your abdomen, and then again back on the other side. Then what we're gonna do is just a very, very gentle neck opener. So we're just gonna turn the head one way turn it back, turn the head the other way, turn it back. So you can do this with your breathing, so you would inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. As you're breathing, try and use your diaphragm, really sort of open up through that, mo through that motion, through the movement, pulling your diaphragm up and down with your breath to really try and connect with those core muscles. Because the core isn't just about this, it's about this as well. So everything connects in and around so we want to try and open up through everything in that area of the body now once you've done your your head turns you're just going to tilt gently don't force the movement bringing it back inhale other side exhale back so again just very very gentle allow the body to guide your range of motion and allow your your neck you know you don't want to force that movement over you're just gently tilting one way taking the ear towards your shoulder and then back up so you're really opening out through the top part of your spine and your neck. Now, from here, <coughs> what you want to do is actually um, bend your knees ever so slightly. So you've got a nice sort of soft bend through the knee. And then all you're gonna do is just rock the pelvis forward. So you're trying to bring the pubic bone towards your ribs. So you're not sagging your shoulders. You're keeping your shoulders nice and open, pulling up and then pushing back. So you're, you're giving yourself a nice curvature of that lower spine, really opening out through the lower thoracic spine into the, into the lumbar spine. Also sort of bringing the coccyx forwards and backwards. So your upper body isn't doing the movement, it's all through your hip girdle. Do 
a few of those and then you can do side to side so again it's just again moving through the the lower thoracic spine again keeping your knees soft so you've got that uh, that flexibility through the lower extremities and just moving the, the hips one side to the other so again just bringing that spine into a nice nice motion of curve so we've gone forwards and backwards side to side we also want to do some circular motions so again actually trying to keep your shoulders nice and still just circle the hips so think pubic bone towards ribs and then tailbone under pubic bone towards the ribs tailbone under and then pushing the bum back pulling the hips around so you're really going around and then going the other way so you want to try and like i say keep here nice and still so we're not sort of slumping over we're not controlling the movement with our upper body all of the movement is coming through the hips um, and then we want to do like a, a figure of eight so we're going forwards to one side back forwards to the other side back now again once you've got your movement it's trying to keep the torso still you are going to have a slight amount of rotation through your tor uh, through your core and um, torso but it's just trying to keep that movement nice and fluid so you're really just trying to Get every range of motion you can through this lumbar portion of your spine down into your coccyx. This is where you're really gonna, really gonna feel those uh, those knots and that tension building up. Now, if you've got um, if you've got a yoga brick or anything like that, if you're getting any kind of hip pain, you can take your yoga brick onto the floor, stand on it with one foot, and just allow the other leg to hang. So you may want to use. A wall or something to stabilize yourself and just try and feel your hip dropping down so feel that kind of relaxation through the hip joint and then once you've reached that point of relaxation just gently swinging the leg forwards and backwards and just trying to get some length through the hip obviously the hip girdle is massively uh, connected to the lower back so any kind of tension through the hips if you're sitting down a lot getting short hip flexors that's obviously going to impact your uh, your lower back. Doing a few swings, coming down, and you'll feel the difference in your hip. You will feel that going on. And then obviously going with the other side. Uh, again, using a wall to stabilize you. Just swinging that leg forwards and backwards, allowing that length to come through the hip. Nice and gentle. And we're doing this standing because if we're sitting down a lot, We've got a lot of compression through our spine. We don't want to continue that compression by doing these movements on a uh, seated position. However, if you are at a desk and you're trapped at your desk and you're working, then you can just do some kind of like side bends, which we'll do next, rotations and things like that. So with your side bend, just gently ease yourself over again, keeping your hips nice and still. Coming back in, back over to the other side back in and just doing a few to each side so again just trying to get that that lateral flexion through the spine open up through the vertebrae you can increase this if you want to as you bring yourself back you can bring yourself up into a balance over to the other side back into a balance and again this is just going to open your hips activate your glutes a little bit and then finally what we can do is um <coughs> excuse me is do what we call in Pilates like a roll down um, so this is basically just rolling your hands towards the floor not touching your toes necessarily but if you can get that far then that's fine you want to try and keep your legs nice and straight so you're not pushing your bottom back and arching your spine you actually think of your uh, vertebrae as blocks of Lego one on top of the other and you're trying to sort of push one over at a time as you go down through the spine through the actual spinal column so you start at the top and as you exhale, you just gently curl the head, bringing the chin down to your chest, very, very gently, nice and controlled movement, all the way down, just as far as you're comfortable. If you can get to the floor, then great, just hold it there. Slight soft knee, uh, soft bend in the knee. You don't want to be pushing the knees backwards. Hold it there. Now again, if you've got like a yoga brick, you can pop it on the floor here. Just stabilize yourself. You can rest your head on it if you can reach it or you can rest your arms on it and just try and hold that stretch there this has actually been proven to um, help with sort of stress and anxiety 
kind of like a way of shutting yourself away from it apparently um but really we want to just kind of hold that down so nice and gentle rolling it down slight soft bend in the knee taking a couple of deep breaths and then gently exhaling and rolling each vertebrae back up one at a time all the way up to the top and it just gives you a nice opening stretch through that lumbar spine and that's it a very very simple very very quick and easy stretch that you can do at home if you don't have a yoga block um, you can maybe try and do it with um, some books but obviously make sure they're secure I don't want anyone slipping off the books um, but yeah hope that helps you keep your backs nice and mobile during this uh, quite sedentary time take care